Shalom, my praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect by Shem Rakah Wadash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp. Now, the apostle did a video called Seven Women Shall Take Hold of One Man Will Take Place on This Side. So, listen what the apostle has to say. And because we're, what are we going to be doing in the kingdom? We're not going to be working and taking women. Out, women will be taken care of where on the power. And that's not talking about in the kingdom because we're, what are we going to be doing in the kingdom? We're not going to be working and taking women. Out, women will be taken. We're going to be kings and our women are going to be our princesses. Came short of saying queens. They're not going to work. They're going to have they're going to have handmaids. They're going to have servants, just like we have servants. So when it says we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, meaning we're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to work. We're going to, we're going to give you sex. And um, you don't got to have, a, uh, you don't got to give us money. We'll get our own money. It said only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Because what is a woman? A woman is a walking, talking incubator. That's all she is, is a baby machine. A sex symbol in a baby machine. Like the apostle said, they're not going to require, you know, you you to be six feet tall, has uh, six inches, have a six pack abs, six figures. That's the six, six, sixes. They talk about you know, online. They're going. It's going to be so uh, evil and demonic, and it's you're going to. It's going to be very easy for you to die or be captured or killed. That they're going to submit. All right. And this is only in, under the threat of no choice. By the way, so uh, to take away our shame. That's what reproach means. Now I'm gonna jump to uh, 2749, and I have minute 51 14 also so let's go to 27 49 i like it be in the description box 27 49 men of the house were mobbed up they knew that they passed it down to their sons it says the, the male population are in search of a ruler the woman in search of a husband and there's going to be a shortage of men so it's going to have to be that way that a man's going to have many women the verse therefore represents an episode in that scene in that scene of anarchy anarchy what does an what does anarchy mean y'all i'm gonna let y'all answer it what does anarchy mean? Because that's what this this government and governments around the world are um, slowly becoming an anarchy. An anarchy. All right. Now I have, uh, let's see. Uh, um, let me see. A few clips here. Pilot dies. All right, right there. Right here, anarchy. All right. So for you, a swole Jake's out there, and you women, I think this is the image of protection. All right. It says, uh, yes, yeah, let's let it play. Damn, girl, you fine as hell. Where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, fuck out of here. Uh, All that muscle uh, ain't stopping a bullet, buddy. Uh, All right, this is this a skit. It's not real. This is comedy on YouTube. I think you get the point. Let's let that play again. Uh, Damn, girl, you fine as hell. Where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, fuck out of here. Uh, All 
that muscle ain't stopping a bullet, buddy. Right, that's the anarchy the uh, apostle was referring to. Well, it's part of it anyway. Elder's video. All right. We'll play a little bit more. Which has been the main burden of this prophecy. Prophecy means it's going to happen. So Isaiah chapter 4 is yet to happen. Because it, the commentators would have told you, well, this happened during the time of the, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. No, don't say that. Let us be called. Let thy name be named over us. The wife bore the husband's name. But only it would seem in such designation as Sa Sarah or Sa Sarai or Saraya, which means my princess. The Lord said, nope. Her name is going to be Princess, Abram's wife. It says, now Sar Sarah, yeah, I'm going to read it right in the Hebrew. Uh, Ab Abram's, Abram's, or Abram's wife, bore him no children, and she had an handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. So now when you read the rest of this, this uh, script right here, Hagar had no say. She, there was no woman, woman's right, Me Too movement. You know? Sarah said, I can't have any children. I'm at an advanced age where I definitely can't have any children. So you're going to lay with my husband. And um, Abram laid with, uh, Abraham laid with Hagar and had a child. But she hated, she hated the uh, she wasn't supposed to get emotional, but she got emotional because she probably saw Hagar rubbing the belly and feeling that this is really my child. And um, it doesn't go into detail, but Sarah had to be putting her foot out so she can fall, smacking the shit at her, throwing shit at her. And they showed you that in the movie 12 Years a Slave with the, with the black girl that was uh, picking more cotton than men and the slave mass was popping her and the, and, the, and the mistress of the house knew about it. So when it's time to get cookies, she would give her cookies out to the rest of the slaves and said, no, you don't get none. And I think one time she, she knocked her in the head. She popped her a couple of times inside joke. All right. So, uh, what we got here uh you said there was no women's rights back then so you have uh <laughs> reason why we should go to war because okay, this is a you know i guess the worst of the women you know i know women can can shoot but you know but for the most part you know women are not really competent warriors this is why they're going to have to seek that man because the thugs that they're sexually attracted to are going to be wiped out they're going to be in the prison camps and they're going to get lit the hell up so let's uh watch the clip it's an old clip you should have already seen this oh. Oh. <laughs> back, back up put the gun down back up put the gun down back up that's not good back up you got Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> back, back up put the gun I, I think the pepper spray was pepper ball was supposed to go farther but it like it went it didn't she shot it too close but you get the point not really competent all right and that's, that's an example and, and this is not an exaggeration all right but women will try to deceive you and make you believe that it is they're not really fit, fit for war. All right, this is a what you call a, a microcosm of a macro issue. All right, that women believe they that they're in charge. They can do the same thing a man can do. All right, they're gonna find it out when Isaiah four and one takes place. Four and one and two. And we're gonna play a little bit more, and then we're gonna 
Uh, jump up to 51.14. Well, I'm going to go to this commentary and read through it. So that's what, you know, that's what uh, Asira was pretty much doing to, uh, to Hagar. But then a miracle took place where she was, uh, she had a, a given birth at an advanced age in her life. And then she laughed at it. Angel said, you're going to have a, a child next year at this time. I believe she was 89, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe 90, she had the child, if I'm not mistaken. And she laughed within herself. And the angel picked up on it because the angels can read your mind. And, uh, but then she lied on it. She said she lied. The angel said, why did you laugh? He said, I didn't laugh. But she, she had simple. She didn't know that she was dealing with an angel. So because you laughed, you're going to call his name laughter, which is um, Yatazakak. Not Yatazakak, Quat, Quat, Yatazakak. To take away, take thou away our reproach. So we read the definition of reproach, right? If a woman is 25, 26, 27, 30, she ain't got no man. She's with different men. Relationships last three months here, five months there. She had one good one that lasts a year and a half, but it broke up. When they have those gatherings, family gatherings, they looking at her sideways. She feeling like shit. There's this one woman now, live where my woman lives. She's Simeon, right? And she got a younger sister. And her younger sister, she's on her second or third child. And she ain't got no, she ain't got, and she's the older one. She ain't got no child. So I talked to her younger sister. I said, what about your sister? When is she going to get babies? Oh, well, she's got problems with, uh, uh, what do you call it? Fi fibroids. And I'm, I'm positive. And she saw me. She said, how are you doing? She re real nice. And I was going to tell her, when you're going to have kids, just to strike up a conversation. And um, I was going to tell her, look, you ask the most high to give you kids and you go to the doctor, you go to the herbalist or whatever, because you can get rid of them, um, them fibroids. That's a tongue, tongue twister to me. So she can have children because you can see it in her face. She, a, woman, a woman does not feel like a woman if she don't have any children. Yeah, that's true. This is why men, you know, they get comfortable and then, you know, <laughs> you'll get pregnant when you get really comfortable. All right. uh, now, what I wanted to get, I wanted to get uh, the commentary. Uh, four and one. Uh, it says, uh, and in that day, the chapter division wrongly separates the verses from the foregoing. It comes as the climax of the chastisement of the daughter, uh, daughters of Zion, uh, as a comparison of the companion picture of three and six, as men sought eagerly yet in vain a, a protector, so women would seek for a husband. Those who had been wooed and courted and had been proudly <laughs> fastidious, uh, fastidious, very attentive and concerned about something, should supplicate an eager rivalry. The seven women of one man implies a land depopulated by war. All right. So I think they're saying that they, these two should go together, three and six and four and one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so depopulated by war. And uh, I mean, let me put this, uh, go back to the, what they're attracted to. Uh, robbery went wrong. You should have already seen this clip. That's uh, no, it's going to got this damn music on there. So, damn. All right, this is that's who they attracted to. All right, I got the, I got the name brand clothes. I got the, the, I guess they think it's think it's a man. Yeah, it ain't it didn't go the way they thought it was going to go. Yep. And we go there. Yeah. 
They come in there regulating, and they they the ones that got regulated. That, there you go. What up? Time to slide. <laughs> That's the nigga music right there. All right, so uh, let's go back to that commentary. All right, seven women to one man implies a land depopulated by war, and so making polygamy neutral. All right. Polygamy says the uh, practice or custom let's see, of having more than one wife or husband at the same time. It's more more than one wife. It's seven women to one man. And that uh, that chick under the video with uh, Ebony Ebony character. She said in colleges that women outnumber men seven to one. Coincidence, right? <laughs> That's the exact words. You go to the previous video. With her face on there, I, think I believe she's wearing green. Uh, she said that seven to one, so that's a coincidence. All right. So it's for the protection of marriage. All right, because you're not going to have any protection. There's a thing going around. Oh, you don't get protection if he don't own you, or you're not in a relationship. You're damn right. And you got women on mainly black women. And I think he has some Edomites too, uh, complaining that this shouldn't be. You know, and the. It is. It's, it's scriptural. There you go. It says it right there. I hope you can see that. Blow it up a little bit more. Bam. It says, uh, do I have my highlighter or no? Oh, yeah, I've got the highlighter. Computer crash. I had to reinstall Windows. So everything's almost back to normal. Uh, it says, uh, and seven women to one man implies the land depopulated by war. Or and or you know uh yeah depopulated by uh the in men being in concentration camps dying from different diseases getting they sliding and, and getting fucked up you know, falling through and getting fucked up um by uh, by people law enforcement opportunists so it's going to be a shortage of all of the thug the thug dudes the thug uh the Tupac Tupac Shakur's and uh uh, Bone Thugs and Drakes, they're gonna be a, they're gonna be uh, their numbers are gonna be greatly reduced. All right, ASAP Rockies and uh, we had uh, you know, bad your bad bunnies, <laughs> they gonna they gonna uh, they gonna disappear. All right, that's what we got. It says that to take away our approach, better and imperative. Imperative? Imperative? Imperative. Imperative. Take thou away the reproach that is of being childless. Yeah, we done videos and done. Uh, what scripture says that she shall be saved and childbearing. You're making it out on a man's ticket. All right. So I was reading. That was Apostles read up here. It says uh, Cambridge Bible. It says uh, the companion picture. Of Isaiah 3 6 the male population are in search of a ruler when you read 3 and 6 the woman in search of her husband of a husband now the, the feminist point would be on her terms but the thing is biblically it's not going to be ever on a woman's terms it's going to be on the elect man's terms because if you are the elect then you're in a privileged position but you you can spot a two-third just by the way they talk I'm referring to the women all right, they start making rules, guidelines, uh, start setting up standards on which are worldly standards, not biblical standards. You would, you would have to, uh, if you were a, a woman of, of you know, if you're Howard Shai, then you could be able to spot a, uh, an elect man. You would have the wherewithal to do that. But most women don't, they're not, they're not of the elect. They don't, they, they don't have the spiritual eye to see. Because they all pick wrong, right? They all say, uh, these men, they're not, they're not providers anymore or some shit like that. And you get with them. Well, you already knew he wasn't a provider or you, or you thought he was or you didn't care. And I say, your eye is not that good. All right. It says, uh, the verses therefore represent an episode in this, that scene of anarchy, which has been the main burden of his prophecy. All right, so anarchy, let me click that. It says a state of disorder due to disturbance or non-recognition of authority or other controlling systems. 
yeah, you're going to have different murders, capturing, uh, villains. You want to, that's going to be taking place because of pride, because of sins. City's going to be cut off. Grocery stores are going to be uh, closed down, and they're going to have food lines. They're going to have line. They'll have lines for everything. All right, for deliver and or deliveries. All right, the vision I had there was a damn big ass line. All right, and I was in the line, but I got out of the line. All right. So, uh, a, the male population are in search of a ruler; the woman in search of her husband. Uh, the verse therefore represents an episode. In, in that scene of anarchy, all right, of anarchy, green right there. And people, uh, let me read the uh, verse. It says, uh, "You see that it's Isaiah four. It says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying." We would eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. And I did a video on this before. Take hold. I said this is like an aggressive, aggressive word. It says, uh, Chazak. All right. To be firm, to be caught fast, secure. All right, press, urge. Press, urge. All right, so women are going to be extremely desperate. All right, they're not going to care about. Let's wear that video at. This is reason why. No, not what you are. It says pilot dies after plane crash during uh, gender reveal party in Mexico. All right, so I'm I'm a can I'm a liking this into marriage. This is it's a let they shall marry be, and given in marriage. All right, they're not going to require you to get uh go to the state and get had a, a Satan sign you up for a contract with with the state. <laughs> The Lord wasn't with that. The Lord, Yahweh Shah was not with the uh, the celebrations. All right. Oh, baby. Now, it's, it's just a gender reveal, but I'm liking it into uh, being given in marriage in the last, in those days. And she'll marry. She'll be given in marriage. Let me get the precept. You know, you know, she got a, a smile, but like a half a smile. And it's like a disgrace because her, her younger, her baby sister got children. You know, when they get together, the girls, the women come over, they come with their children. And she's by, she's with a boyfriend or whatever, with no children. Like I said, it don't affect men. Men don't give a shit. They say, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, yeah, it's all right. But uh, in the kingdom, we all going to have children. We're going to have so many children. You know, we're going to have thousands upon the, the Isaiah 6, he says, a, a nation. It's every time we turn around, you got, you got 10 daughters and uh, 17 sons that just got born. We're going to name them and all of that. So Matthew 24, 37, you know, they're not going to require you to, uh, or you got to 
got to get married in six months. Uh, well, marriage minded. Don't waste my time. You know, usual. Uh, Matthew twenty four thirty six. But of the day and the hour knoweth no man, no not the angels in heaven, but the Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of Son of Man be. For as in the days, in the days that were before the flood, they were, because the flood is about to come. Yeah. That's going to be what, martial law, cities being cut off, food rations going to be in line, long ass lines. All right. Uh, concentration camps, a draconian system is, is uh, being implemented. All right. And that's why we're training right now. We haven't ex have any experience to be able to withstand that. And we're doing that by the, by the Holy Spirit. All right. Because there's no way that any uh, uh, food you're saving up or um, a physical skill you have is going to, you, you're not going to be able to survive that. That's coming. That's why we read in the scriptures doing these videos and spiritually preparing our minds to endure these things. All right? And the Lord's going to give us grace. Yahweh Shai is going to give us grace. For as in the days of, uh, that were bef before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So sh shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So you're still going to have simple asses getting, getting married, having children, not thinking about the, 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 the destruction, the impending danger. All right. And again, and she requires you to go to the state. Well, this is in Mexico, though. But but you know, she requires you to go to the state and get and get a license. All right. To make a, a honest woman in Babylon. All right. Obviously, no, we're not going to do that. That's, that's stupid. All right. But those these feelings are going to disappear. All right. Because of the lack of bread and because of, of the lack of men and protection. All right. They're going to be extremely desperate in that day. All right. And a lot of them are going to be put to death anyway because they're not just not right. Most of these women's minds are just they're totally gone. There's nothing you, you can do. All right. It's, it's, it's literally impossible to salvage the majority of them. That's why the Lord has a, an elect, which is a small number of you know, men and women that are going to come out of Babylon. All right. It says, uh, let's go to the pulpit. Commentary. I didn't pre-read this, so I don't know what it's going to gonna say. It says, uh, seven women shall take hold of one man. Uh, companion picture, scripture of three and six. As they're in the evil time of God's judgment, the disparaging men are represented as taking hold of a receptacle man. Him their judge that's the third chapter uh, so no respectable respectable yeah respectable man all right uh take hold press urge be our be our leader all right so the women gonna be on the same thing so now the dis despairing despair the complete loss or absence of hope. All right. Oh yeah, it's going to get back because everything's like, kind of cool now. You know, you can still go to the grocery store, still go to your little Chick Fil A's and, and Chipotle's and eat and all that. I mean, but it's going to come as a shock when all that shit stop. You can't go and drive on a road. Your life just changed. It says um. Respectable, respectable, respectable man. So now the dis despairing, having no hope. Now the woman that has no hope will take hold of such a man and request him to allow them all to be regarded as his wives. All right. Not having hope. All right. Because they, I can't even describe in the words how bad it's going to be. All right. You're going to have military vehicles in the streets you're going to have summary exec summary executions all right kidnappings people going to disappear 
there has been such a destruction, men are become so scarce that no otherwise can women escape the shame and reproach of being unwedded and childless. So so this is this has to be talking about so called blacks, Latinos, blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. Because right? the main one that, that taught the feminism is well, the you got the southern kingdom and then you got the the, the white woman, the Caucasian Edomite cave woman. She'll she she's like next in line. That independent push marriage and uh having children off until late thirties or late twenties. All right, so this, uh, but the main one is, is no the Southern Kingdom women. All right, so called black women. It says, uh, and there there has been such a destruction, men are become so scarce that no otherwise can women escape the shame and reproach of being unwed and childless. So this definitely was not talking about back then because women were still getting married and being under the authority of their uh, of their husband. So this is a future prophecy. This is this. So this when this when Isaiah said this, this is like lunacy. Being uh, like women being unwed, this is like not a, a, that was a thing that was unheard of. But now you can clearly see that this prophecy is definitely going to come to pass during our our time. All right, not in the kingdom. Right now, this is going to take place during this time period. All right. Says, uh, let's read a little bit more. It says, um, no otherwise can women escape the shame. I mean, if you can't see that this, this is, you know, we already know knew this. No, but this, this is just, so, you know, solidifying a point so you can see it. And that, that you know, other, you know, so-called scholars have come to the same conclusion. And, and we didn't know about this. I, we didn't read this and didn't f figure it out. We we just looked up the meaning of the other words and put precept upon precept line upon line and, and found out and then we cross referenced it with the 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 laws the the temperament of women and men today like this is yeah this is this is happening this is going to happen in the future all right this didn't happen in the past this is happening now this is going to happen in the future all right in our lifetime all right that in the destruction is going to be so bad. Men are become so scarce that no otherwise can women escape the shame and reproach of being unwed and childless. This is, this is one hundred percent talking about the black woman and the other women of our tribes. All right. Our own bread we will eat. They do not ask him for su to support them. And this is the exact opposite of how the women are acting right now. You got to have the six sixes, which is which is a satanic number. Or the three sixes. All right. They're not going to care nothing about that. All right. They ain't going to care if you're going to be, if you're short, skinny, fat. If you appear to be of the elect. And a lot of them, because they don't have the spiritual uh, perception, they're going to get tricked. <laughs> they're going to get tricked by a dude with a belly shirt garment and fringes on it and wearing purple or wearing all black. <laughs> Tell us some, uh, it don't mean to grape. It means to manipulate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy 22. Uh, it says, um, they do not. The, who is this talking? This, is, this has to be talking about our, our women. We're going to go with. Uh, let's go with green. They do not ask him for support. What what uh, Janet Jackson ain't nothing going on but the rent. I don't want no scrub. Uh, scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Uh, they do not ask him to support them. They are able and willing to support themselves. With, obviously with the the means we provide. Because it's going to be no other uh, way. But, uh, you know, through through the, through the husband. Uh, to take away, rather, take thou away the imperative mood. Not in... in Infinitive, our approach. All right. And then it gets it and it goes into regard. Uh, you misfortunate, misfortune if you didn't have children. Yeah, if you weren't married. All right. So this is a hundred percent referring to our women. They have the attitude that they don't need a man. If they do get a man, 
you have to provide 100% of everything and they take no orders from you at the same time. <laughs> it's a hell of a deal. All right. You provide everything for them, but they don't listen to you whatsoever and they can do whatever they want and they can do and uh, go wherever they want at the same time. So the prophecy is that they're not going to care about uh, support, like getting money and all that. They're going to want protection in your last name. All right. And whatever you provide is what they're going to get. All right. So Elder uh, 5114, he was going into uh, 51 minute. Let's go to that one, 51. I think he's going into Ezra. So let's go up to 51. 14. Just running out of men. So now they're putting their women on the front line. They're drafting their women right now. So this is a bad situation. Men women show mourn. Second Ezra 15, second Ezra 16, and second Ezra 14. It's a diversion so mourn having no bridegroom. And I did quote uh Isaiah 13, a man shall be more precious than gold. That goes hand in hand with seven women shall take hold of one man. Because there's going to be, the women are going to outnumber men. It said the virgins shall mourn having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegroom be bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. So there's going to be a shortage of men. I was listening to this today. Some I forget who said it, but I've heard it a couple of days ago that Ukraine pretty much is running out of men. So now they're putting their women on the front line. They're drafting their women right now. So this is a bad situation. This guy, Zelensky, he's pretty much going to sacrifice his whole, his people. So guess who's going to take that over? The Russians, they're just going to take it over. There may not be no remnants of any Ukrainian people, man. Or very little. Remember what happened with Benjamin? The reason why it was called Little Benjamin. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. So we're coming to the time of Jacob's trouble. And this, you know, 2nd Ezra 15, 2nd Ezra 16, and many other precepts, Jeremiah 30, uh, Daniel 12, and many other scriptures, you know, hint at Jacob's trouble. And then we want this that want that to happen. We want Jacob's tr trouble to hurry up and come. And, uh, and the timetable would have to be right after the chip, at the great chip, and there's gonna be a go oh boy. I can't wait till they they institute these chips, man. Because everything's gonna move lightning fast. So we almost out this bitch. Anyway, with, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom. And Jacob's trouble is 20, uh, no, 31. Or 30 and 7. Let's look up to uh, trouble. 37. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, the elect, we got Tazara, we got straits, distress, trouble, vexer, rival wife, narrow passage. It's very uh, difficult, tribulation, trouble, great cause of great trouble and suffering. All right, that's what's coming. All right, so... 
your independent reign is going to come to an end when your sins are brought before Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, who, what other camp is breaking down the scriptures as the, the elders and apostles, the great millstone, are breaking down the scriptures? All right. No other camp is doing like we, we do. And if they are, they they get their spirit from our teachers. All right. So I'll leave that there. Hope you edify it. Shalom.